So I saw this story. Apparently, Packer fans on the social media accounts, and I know it's a lot of Twitter and uh, Reddit nerds, but nonetheless, a lot of Packer fans on social media, because the Packers didn't make a move, they want their general manager, Brian Gutenkunst, fired. Interesting. This year started, and I picked the Vikings to win the division, and I said Green Bay is not going to be the same team. Not a single Packer fan reached out to me and said, you're right, we're not that talented. I was an idiot. I was a moron. We are dominant. And I said, well, you don't have Devontae Adams. We were 7-0 and without him. We are loaded. So clearly you love your players in your roster. Now you want him fired? When I wouldn't put them in my top 10 hierarchy, remember J-Mac was here. I said, they're not a top 10 team. I watched the games. Not a single Packer fan ever said, yeah, I think their roster's a little overrated. Not one. You mock, you lecture, you criticize those who don't consider them a Super Bowl team before the season started. So you must like their roster. Nobody wins just with a quarterback. I'm sorry, but uh, you can't have it both ways. You can't tell everybody that you are great and a Super Bowl team and then you don't make a deal at the trade deadline and want the GM rip because you don't have enough players. You don't have enough players, at least on offense. But Green Bay's defense is loaded with talent. It's underachieving. Is that the GM's fault? They got players everywhere. The special teams have been wobbly since Matt LaFleur showed up. Is that the GM's fault? You don't use Aaron Jones on a regular basis enough. Is that the GM's fault? Aaron Rodgers took top-of-the-market money and refused to work out as much as he could have with rookie wide receivers. Is that the GM's fault? Mike Sando of The Athletic, a great reporter. Mike Sando of The Athletic. Athletic's got great reporters everywhere. I read it every single day of the year. An NFL, anonymous NFL executive didn't paint Aaron Rodgers in a good light when it comes to his desire for wide receivers. An exec told Sando, very trustable, legit guy, there's so much there in Green Bay we don't know when it comes to Aaron and his receivers. It's almost like, why would you spend premium draft capital on somebody he probably won't like? Nobody's good enough for Aaron. That's probably part of it, too. You got to think about that. Took him years to get Devontae Adams and him to the right place. I don't know. You give Patrick Mahomes new wide receivers, they're good in September. Juju Smith-Schuster. <laughs> doesn't take Mahomes long. It doesn't take Josh Allen long. I mean, Tom Brady, he got Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, year one, won the Super Bowl. So you, you, you all want the GM fired. Which is it? Is maybe it Matt LaFleur and Aaron Rodgers? They deserve the blame? You're blaming the general manager. You keep telling me how great your team is. When I'm like, I take the Jets a couple weekends ago. Remember that? I picked the Jets over the Packers. Not a single Packer fan said, that's interesting. We're overrated. Our talent's not as good as people think. Not one. Zoutrage, mocked, can't have it both ways. There are plenty of good players here. Absolutely. It's a very, defensively, I, I love their corners. Um, I think they got good defensive line talent, safety talent, but it's underachieving. Can't blame that on the GM. That's not a GM's issue. Not out there coaching. So you, which is it? Are you a Super Bowl team? Because the teams I like in the Super Bowl have a bunch of good players. Buffalo's got a bunch of good players. <laughs> Niners got a bunch of good players. Philadelphia's got a bunch of good players. Baltimore's got a bunch of good players. Kansas City's got a bunch of good players. I mean, a lot of you think Dallas is a Super Bowl team. If they're completely healthy, they're interesting. I think they're on the fringe. They need another receiver. But it, you can't go both ways. You can't bang on the GM when, you keep, when you're outraged anybody, any time anybody goes, I don't know. I think Minnesota's got more good players. He'd be the first guy to run to your Twitter, Twitter, Reddit, social media, and call out people. Which is it? J Mac with the news. No, 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 no. Turn on the news. This is the Herdline News. I'll say you're right. The Packers were a rare whiff of mine, and I was I was trying to. But get that's you okay. Like, you got to put the Packers in. You got to put them in. And I we kept saying when yeah. I picked Jets over them, I miss all the time. But I said I watched the games. Yeah. Where are they great? I think Aaron Jones is great. 
Um, they go in now. Now, this past week against Buffalo, they really leaned on him. But they went a month where you couldn't figure out why they weren't going to the other Aaron. Um, I thought the defense – stop me if you disagree. I thought the defense played kind of well against Buffalo for spurts. No, Held no. them to two for seven they, on third down. They have good A player. lot of penalties yes. on the Packers. I, I, I like Jair Alexander running his oh, mouth because I well, like to run my mouth a lot. We all, all of us before the season, yeah. all of us said – Green Bay's defense is really good. We all said wide receiver is going to be an issue. So they're a very predictable mess. Yeah. But it's like you can't have it both ways. Now you want to fire the general manager. This roster, I don't believe, has a great coach and has a very prickly quarterback who is a lot more difficult than people think. I think his inability to just go and put your arms around these young receivers is a big part of the struggle. But at the same time, when you win 13 games three years in a row and you can't get to the Super Bowl and then you, if they win like nine games this year, somebody's got to pay the price. You got to whack somebody. I don't know if it's a coordinator. Uh, some, somebody's going to pay the piper. Uh, uh -huh. All right, let's get to the news. Uh, first up, should I start calling him your Chicago Bears since you are like, oh. uh, I think you weren't a bear. Yeah, uh, can I say know, this? Yeah. I don't think the Bears today are as good as the Packers. But the Packers have to play the Bears in crucial games that could get them to the playoffs. So yeah. if I'm a Green Bay guy, I'm sitting there today thinking, Chase Claypool makes them better. Well, there's some reports that the Packers were bidding for Claypool. Yeah. And then the Bears said, fine, we'll give our own second round pick, which is higher than the Packers had. That's key. Uh, that's unconfirmed. I think it was a former ESPN reporter but said that. But that. That, that is the key in that, is that the, yeah. that pick will be better than the Packers pick. Certainly, no yeah. doubt. Uh, so they add Claypool. And listen, they need offensive weapons. GM Ryan Poles is very excited about the addition of Chase Claypool. I am excited about this player. You know, I have really like the way that our offense is, is starting to come together and move. I thought it was important to add another impact player to our offense to go along with the guys that we currently have in the receiver room right now. Um, I like the way Justin is trending, and I think adding another um, – Big body who's physical, explosive, great leaping ability, can stretch the field, but also is is violent with the ball in his hand as yep. well as a blocker. I think that enhances everyone around him. Yep. It's great. And 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 remember the other receiver they have, their best receiver, is a small receiver. So he's got a different body type, different ability. Um this is I think it's a really good pick. I don't know how great it makes them, but it does give you clarity. Okay, now you're giving enough weapons to Justin Fields. Yeah. Not not enough. They still need another receiver, I think, next year. But this does create, end of this year, some clarity on what can Justin do when he has reasonable weapons. Right. It's still not a loaded yeah. weapons core, but it's now more reasonable. A couple things. So, um, you know TJ Hushmanzada, obviously. Yeah, uh, of course. Does stuff at this network. I got to know him a little bit. He trained Claypool leading up to the draft, and he kept raving to me, Jay. This dude, Claypool, is an animal. He's 6'4", 240. Just an absolute beast. Can block, run. I mean, think about this. You come into the NFL and score nine touchdowns as a rookie, that's pretty damn good. He came in and was instantly a massive hit. And, Colin, I'll give you a name. I, you mentioned tight end, maybe, for the Bears. How about the kid Michael Mayer out of Notre Dame? He yeah. is a superstar in the yeah. making. You add him to that offense, you know, for Justin Fields, short stuff. Claypool. I think the Bears' arrows is pointing upward. This well, is a buy team for next year. The great thing about what the Bears did, and you were here, and we said it in the preseason, Roquan Smith is a great player. Yeah. It's time to move him because he's not winning divisions. You have got to identify. This is what the Jets are going through right now. Uh, I mean, they're, this is what we'll they're going through. In a second, yes, yes. Can he play? Can our quarterback play? So right now it's not fair to judge Justin Fields because the O-line's makeshift. So now you give him two legit receivers. We all like Cole Komet, a couple of good backs. So now you're getting closer to a, okay, does he improve with Claypool? My guess is slightly yes. And therefore, it would prove to you by the end of the year, if we keep adding weapons, he keeps getting better. By the way, Tua, Jalen Hurts, yeah. Josh Allen, they keep getting better. Some guys you give weapons to, they don't get better. These guys keep getting better, the better weapons. Yeah. That's... When you got a guy you can, you know, pay some money Don't to. Don't forget David Montgomery, the running back everybody in Chicago seems to. Well, and Herbert behind him is <laughs> yes, good. Yes, yes. Yeah. All right, next up, it is the aforementioned Jets. Listen, Zach Wilson taking a lot of heat after the three picks in the loss to the Patriots. 
Afterwards, Robert Sala defended him. Some of Wilson's teammates came to his defense. Listen, Zach Wilson is really liked in that locker room. He is a nice young guy. Yeah. He's friendly with everybody. Um, even the GM, Joe Douglas, is making sure everybody knows the Jets are committed to their QB. We're four and one with Zach as our quarterback. And, you know, Zach brought us in his first game back. He brought us back from a double digit deficit in hostile territory in Pittsburgh. Um, so uh, I know, I know, I'm sure he'd, he'd say that he'd, he'd want a few of those throws back, but, you know, he also had nine explosive passes. There's a lot, there's a lot of good to take away um, from, from that game. I know the focus was on the turnovers, but, um, you know, we, we love Zach. We love the way he pro his approach is every week. Um, love his competes, and, uh, you know, he's our quarterback. All right, there you go. We'll Joe, see. Joe Douglas needs a larger hat. I mean, his head looks like it's just I, a little tight there. I called um, a former New York Jet yesterday. Okay. And I said, what do you think of Zach Wilson? He said, I need a few more games. Obviously, yeah. Yeah, but um, we'll see. It's fun. This is part of the journey that's fun. So I had a guy uh, tweet at me, look at the completion percentage. 35 quarterbacks have qualified. Zach Wilson rates 34th in completion percent. Okay, well. In on-target throws, which right. are graded as, you know, on targets. A guy can catch it. He's 33rd out of 35. It's not great. It's not. It's not great. <laughs> now, listen, the offensive line stinks. We That's can admit right. it was an abject failure. Especially with a, uh, Vera Tucker. Injuries. Group. I yeah. mean, where's, where's uh, Mekhi Becton? Final note, Colin. A couple quarterbacks could be on the market this summer. Uh, oh, I'm going to keep an eye on sheesh. Derek Carr. Um, Raiders. Right. Ryan Tannehill, I do not want anything to do with Ryan okay, Tannehill. Okay, all right. Let's, Jimmy let's... Garoppolo, you know who the Jets are?